Hello and welcome to your first tutorial series of OpenCV with Python. Let's get started with images. Today I will go through how to read an image, how to display an image, and how to save it back. And for that we'll use three different functions that we will go through them. First thing first, let's open Python. And then we shall open a new file. And give it a name. Since we are using OpenCV and NumPy and probably also Matroblib, we need to import them. Import NumPy as np import cv2. <coughs> First thing, we need to read the image of our interest. It's called image equal to cv2 dot mread. Over here we need to put the link to the image. For my case, this is the link to it. If you don't know how to do it, you just go to the image and then you can connect to the link. Take here it's int just for you to reference it. So as you can see, this is cv2.mread. We're gonna read the image and its name img, and the image is exactly this. And then we have a zero here. What does it mean? So actually, there is three different functions. There is mread color. So we will read the image in color or you can have in grayscale so you read it in grayscale only gray or you can actually read it as it is which is m read and change it you can avoid writing all of this by having zero one or negative one. So one stand for mread color, zero mread grayscale, and negative one for mread and change. So now we have successfully been able to read our picture. So next step is to show the picture, and there is easy to show the picture with just with the function cv2 dot show and then we give a name to the window we are using let's say we can call the window big cat the name of the picture we want inside the window in which we call it img next you don't want your window to be open forever so you need a way to close the window, which is cv2 dot wait key and then zero. So the wait key is a keyboard binding function. Its argument is the time in milliseconds. If zero is passed, is passed, it waits indefinitely of a key stroke. It can also be set to detect specific key strokes, like if key a is present, etc., which will be discussed later on. And then cv2 dot destroy all windows, and this one simply destroy all the windows we created. If you want to destroy any specific window, we can use cv2 dot destroy window. And then we can pass the window argument we want. For this case, just all windows. 
So let's run this program and see what will happen. Oh, my image showed on the other screen. And here is our image. This is the name of the window. In this program, we created a picture and then a window and we put the picture into the window. Why? If you want to do the opposite, we can, cre we can actually create a window itself by its own and then put an image into it. Way to do it. So cv2. Dot name window we call it cat cv2 dot window normal there's different ways to use window if we specify window normal this means that we can resize the window or we can make it as auto size, we can make it to different sizes that we might discuss later on. This one. And it's working. Let's now see how we can save the image. So this is my first image, the actual one, in which we change it into grayscale. So we want to save this grayscale right in here. And in order to do that, we simply add another function called cv2.inwrite. And we put the path, we want to put it on the same location. Uh, let's call it uh, maybe gray cat, not the best picture, not the, not the best name, sorry. And the name of the picture we call it ing. And let's run it. Let's open it. And I will have our new image changed here as the name, and then here is our image. Thank you for watching, this is our first tutorial, we talked about pictures a little bit, in the next tutorial we'll be talking about videos and using your webcam or any extra camera, if you like this video please like, subscribe, if you don't like the video please give a comment below so we can improve the content, thank you.